Hello friends, as I have explained you in the introduction, the main uh, study of Laplace transformation is solving a non-linear differential equation with the constant coefficient. Now, in this topic, I am going to simplify or uh, solve some problems. How we can solve a linear differential equation with the, the given condition, here we will say initial value problems. You are going to study this detail in detail in the next coming topics by using certain properties of Laplace transform. It might be uh, easy while studying later because uh, some if the functions are given complicated or difficult function to be integrated here, it's not so easy uh, that to solve by using our existing knowledge is considered here it is. But in the initial, in your exercise, it is given now there here, solving IVP initial value problem by using Laplace transformation. Now, uh, before going to uh, solving IVP here, you have to recall timing, you have to recall these formulas. Now, actually you have a theorem corresponding to that, proof corresponding the result what I am going to write that here, but timing I will take it as formula itself. Now, uh, the first uh, uh, you have to recall that, see you are given that uh, uh, function here in the differential equation, if I have given dy by dx that plus 6y is equal to 0. See, you know that this is a differential equation. In the, your second BSc level, that earlier uh, that classes you have studied how to solve this differential equation. Now, in the differential equation, our main aim is to find the unknown function. Here, unknown function is y. Right? So, in the same sense here, that you have applied different uh, methods there. In the same uh, way that how you have found out the given function y of x, that unknown function y of x here. You can also find the unknown function by applying a Laplace transform here. So, that is the uh, another, uh, another method you will get at here it is. Now, here, uh, in the Laplace transform, see actually the uh, independent term is going to be t, here it is. Now, see actually Laplace of dy by d8, dt, we are going to write is in shortcut, that is y dash of t, right, for our convenient we will take it as y dash of t. The theorem says that here, Laplace of y dash of t is equivalent to s into Laplace of that y of t minus, minus, we can write like this here, it is uh, y of 0, but see this y of 0, it is given to you initial value problem, in the initial value problem. See this is a result or this is a theorem, it has its proof, but timing I am take it as formula. Now one here, second also, if it is given second order differential equation here, second order term here it is, right. So, in this case, we can write it as y double dash of t that it is, it is equal to s square into Laplace of y of t that minus s into Laplace of y of uh, y of 0 that minus that, no, here sorry, this is going to be la, uh, s into y of 0, s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0, that. The result is going like this again if it is given well, Laplace of y triple dash of t is equal to s cube into Laplace of y of t. Next subsequent terms are going like this. Here it is. Okay. Now here it is sufficient uh, to solve the uh, in this exercise only two uh, formulas here. Now using this here uh, we can uh, solve a given IVP. Say for your uh, knowledge sake I am going to. Uh, solve some simple problems here it is. See solve that the problem is given this here. Solve the IVP it is uh, this is equal to 0 simple problem this here. The initial condition is given here y of 0 is equal to 0 and 
uh, y dash of 0 is equal to 1. So, this is the, these are the initial condition it is given to you. You know that the meaning is going to be y of x naught is equal to y naught. That means here x naught is equal to 0 and y naught is equal to uh, 0. Similarly, like this here it is, ok. Now, how to solve that? Now, the method is by using Laplace transform here. So, what we will do is here it is, uh, we will take so given that the given differential equation is going to be this here it is, ok. Now, I am taking Laplace, taking Laplace transform, Laplace transformation both sides, transform both sides, here it is. So, it becomes L into that here it is y double dash c, I am writing that variable plus that y of t that Laplace of 0, that. Now, as I have explained you, Laplace uh, function uh, transform is going to be linear here. So, I am going to write this as with the property here, Laplace of y dash of t plus that Laplace of here it is y of t that equal to, you may write here, what is Laplace of 0? Laplace of 0 is equal to 0 itself because you know that uh, Laplace of c the given function is here it is f of t uh, 0 to infinity e power minus h t into here f of t that definition it is f of t dt. What is f of t it is given here it is 0. So, therefore, this is equal to 0. So, any term 0 into any term is equal to 0 therefore, 0 therefore, we can uh, treat now here it is, we can write Laplace of 0 is equal to 0 itself, ok. Now, here continuing, so that is equal to here, say now you apply the formula what I have given here, Laplace of y dash of t according to that formula is uh, we can write it as s square into Laplace of y of t that minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 equal to 0 that is here. Now, s square into what is uh, uh, I am writing as such Laplace of y of t that see this is the unknown term that you have to find keep it in your mind minus see it is given to you what is uh, y of 0 y of 0 is equal to 0 minus initial condition and it is equal y dash of 0 is equal to 1. So, therefore, is equal to 0. So, that is equal to here, here s square into Laplace of y of t that this is 0 into any term it is equal to 0. So, it is 0, I am not writing here, minus 1 is equal to 0 or this is equal to on simplification Laplace of here it is y of t is equal to say it is equal to 1 that here. So, therefore, now observe that here it is uh, here s square this into Laplace of that here it is, ah, yeah, this term I will left out, I will make the correction here it is, say y dash of 0 that here, yeah, this here plus this time uh, I have left out here, I am writing here, sorry, that note the correction here, Laplace of y of t that is equal to 0. So, that is here, I am uh, writing here Laplace of y of t that is equal to 0. Now, the correction here again in the same Laplace of y of t is equal to 0 that. So, now I am grouping here that I am rewriting that here s square into. So, here the term is equal to 1 coefficient is 1 Laplace of y of t that it is equal to take 1 on that side it is equal to 1. We will continue this here again you have to simplify this here. We will continue this in the next session. Thank you.